Hi, welcome back to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. I'm Anita, and today I am sewing Devon pouches. This is a pattern by Sotac Patterns, and I will link to it in the description below. But I have a lot of leftover mask panels, and I'm using them as the feature panel on the pouch. So there's one. I love this typewriter. These are from Ruby Star Society, these panels. So I'm reusing them as the feature panel in the Devon pouch. So I'm going to sew one with you today and show you what you can do if you have got leftover face mask panels. All right, let's get started. Okay, so once you have your pattern, you will be cutting out all your pieces. I'm making the large pouch and the mask panel will need to be cut down to the size in the pattern, but you can get a nice feature panel for a large Devon pouch out of a face mask panel. And here's a little tip for you to speed things up a bit. Um, I just took a fat quarter of this print and interfaced the whole fat quarter on the back with Shape Flex 101. And then I cut out my pieces and I could actually get two pouches out of one fat quarter uh, for the exterior fabrics. So you can make two pouches and you might have a little bit of fabric left over that's interfaced, but it's a lot quicker than cutting out each little piece and then each piece of interfacing and then ironing on each piece. If you just iron to the whole back of the fat quarter, it goes a lot faster. And this is my pocket panel. And this is the lining of the pouch. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my zipper cut down to the length of the front pocket. And then I have enough. I'm not even gonna bother trimming that right now for the upper pocket, the main pocket. These zippers are from Zipper Valley and I will put a link in the description below if you wanna check them out. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the pull on. Now, some people have this crazy fork trick. I just do this. I don't, I tried to fool around with a fork and I was like, why? This is so stressful. Like, <laughs> for me, it's just, you just pop it on one side, except they've got a little bit of a bent part there, I think. And then you just pop on the other side and then you pull the zipper just like a regular, like you're doing up a jacket. And if it doesn't work on one end, then flip it around and try the other end. There we go. So don't worry about using a fork or any crazy stuff. Just pop your zipper on like that and there will, there will be three teeth on either end offset. So you want to cut just a little bit longer of a zipper, but there you go. Let's start sewing. Okay, so I'm just going to clip my zipper with the pull on the left to the front of my panel. So the zipper is right side down. And all of these pouches will be available in my Etsy shop if anyone is wanting to buy one, if you don't have any mask panels to make one. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take my pocket, pocket lining and Put that right side against the wrong side of the zipper. Let's make sure I have this right. There we go. And then I'm going to sew that with a quarter inch seam. These are big number five zippers so you can get a, a full quarter inch on them.
Okay, and then I'm gonna just finger press, just, and yeah, be careful with these, if you're using zipper tape, that you don't accidentally pull your zipper pull off, although you can still get it back on. But now we are going to top stitch after finger pressing our seams away from the zipper tape. I'm just going to fold my pocket up to the top zipper tape and clip that in place and then baste that down with the sewing machine just with an eighth of an inch seam. Okay, so now we're going to sew the side panels on. So I'm just going to snug my zippers together just to get this clipped in place. And don't worry if there's any zipper hanging out, we can, we can trim that with our scissors. Unless you're using metal zippers, then you want to use exactly what the pattern says. Okay, then we're just going to sew that with a quarter inch seam. And I'm just going to trim off this little extra bit of zipper. Okay, and then I'm just going to top stitch. And then I'll do the same for the other side. We're just going to pick, clip along the top. So we're going to take this top panel, put it right sides down to the zipper and clip along the top. And again, we're going to sew this with a quarter inch seam. Just press that panel up. You can finger press it or use your iron. And then we'll just top stitch along that seam. Okay, so the front panel is finished. I'm just gonna trim off this little excess at the bottom. And then we're ready to just put, put this together like any other regular zipper pouch now. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna put my zipper with the pull on the left face down onto this upper edge and I'll baste it in place. I'll just put a lining piece uh, face down uh, right side of lining to the wrong side of the zipper and again clip in place and I'll sew that with a quarter inch seam Okay, so now I will press my fabric away from the zipper tape and top stitch along that seam. If you want to avoid having the zipper getting pulled off, you could also sew zipper tabs on either end if you want to before you start attaching the zipper. Okay, so there's the front side and now I'm just gonna repeat 
for the back side. So the back outer panel is gonna go face down on top of the zipper. And we'll just stitch that down or, with, or we'll baste it with an eighth of an inch seam. And then I will take the lining fabric and put it right sides to the wrong side of the zipper on the other side. Clip that in place. And we're gonna just move the zipper back a bit. We're going to sew that with a quarter inch seam. So now again, press away from the zipper tape. And then we're going to top stitch. Along the seam. Okay, and then we need to cut out the corner notches from the bottom according to the measurement in the pattern. So I'll go do that. Okay, so then I'm just gonna open my zipper a little bit and I'm going to pin right sides together all the way around the pouch. And then I'm gonna just leave an opening at the bottom for turning the pouch right side out through the zipper. Okay, so I've clipped all the way around, leaving an opening for turning and I have pushed the zipper towards the lining, like away from that seam towards the lining of the pouch. So now I'm just gonna sew all the way around. Okay, so then all we need to do is box out our corners on all four corners. So I just stick my finger in there, get it opened up and press the seams in opposite directions with my finger and my thumb. And just make sure those seams are nesting together and I put a clip. Then I just sew a quarter inch seam across that. And we're just gonna do that for all four corners. Okay, and then we just need to Turn this right side out through the zipper. And press out those corners with our fingertips. And then I just pop those raw edges to the inside and finger press that in place. And then you can clip it or just stitch across it or you can hand sew it if you want. And then we just pop that lining to the inside and poke out those corners again. And then I just make sure that my zipper corners are poked out as well. And there we go, finished. Thanks for sewing along with me today. I hope you enjoy making the Devon pouch. It's a fun little pouch to make and a great way to use up leftover face mask panels. 
Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos from Daydreams of Quilts. Happy sewing!